Okay, update on the cabin. Um, right now, filling in bee holes first with um, with some caulk, and then uh, with some wood filler. This will get sanded off, and uh, once I get that uh, finished, then we'll come back and stain the whole house. Um, I've been out of the loop for a little while because um, I was working on my truck. I had to put a new motor in it. And uh, the motor I bought, uh, the company went out of business and I waited too long to put it in because I was working on the roof. And so I ran out the warranty and I guess it didn't matter anyway because the company who built it went out of business. So I can't do anything about that, but they didn't torque the head bolts correctly and uh, blew the head gasket. So I dug in and found a whole bunch of other things they did wrong fixed all of the problems I could find and uh, she seems to be running really well I haven't thrown any codes or anything and I'm getting <laughs> since I plugged the fuel injector back in that I forgot to one of them it was running all rough and I was like what is going on took it all apart again and found I forgot to plug it in I, or maybe I did plug it in and it popped off while I was putting some other part on but whatever it's running great now checking the mileage but I think it'll be great so the idea with uh, these bee holes is uh, April is my deadline, as far as I can tell. Um, that's when the carpenter bees come out, and uh, we don't want them to make holes. So I've checked a lot of websites, checked a lot of, talked to a lot of different people that own homes like this, and uh, everybody seems to agree that if you fill in the holes, uh, that'll stop them. Plus uh, bee traps, which I'm going to make plus stain the logs, then that should keep the bees away. The borate doesn't do anything against carpenter bees because they don't actually ingest the wood, they just dig through it. So if you can uh, dissuade them by showing them there's no holes for them to, to come back to, um, plus the stain makes some kind of a smell that they don't like. Um, so that with all those things, I'm hoping we can stop it. Plus it's been pretty rainy uh, and I've noticed that no matter what, these logs on the side keep getting wet. And so as soon as I get done staining, I'm going to dig some post holes. And we're going to start putting the porch on, at least on the, the west side and also the east side. Um, because these overhangs, uh, they're about four feet, which is fine for a one-story house. And I knew that when we, when we designed it. And so as part of the design was um, I added a porch on the design too. And the porch is going to, um, it'll be a 10 foot wide porch. It'll come out and protect these lower logs and the upper roof will protect the upper logs. Um, so we'll just, uh, we'll just keep going and that's where we're at.